Hey guys, it's Basis Sorgat on the Tom Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters, and we're back at it, and things are changing and shifting, and it's getting very interesting around here. And uh, I'm very excited to uh, you, know, you join me on the ride, and thank you so much for that. So uh, yeah, we're back at it. I'm going to give you the four episodes as usually promised here on uh, Basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron.com. Please uh, go check things out, subscribe to everything. Uh, moving the newsletter to Monday, uh, just in an effort to kind of shift things around as my schedule is shifting, and uh, kind of give you a little, hopefully a little pep for that that Monday inspiration and see uh, kind of where things go from there. So I had a few ideas uh, that I want to get into. had a really great time uh, actually uh, with Kit Mueller uh, down there uh, checking out Un Unstuck Pittsburgh. Please go look it up. I believe it's Unstuck PGH on the Twitters and look up Unstuck Pittsburgh on Facebook and meetup.com. Um, a really good kind of entrepreneurial thing. And, and you know, I've, I've talked about here in the past uh, a little bit of how I battle with, am I an entrepreneur? Of course I'm an entrepreneur. And this is like everybody that like from people doing restaurants to, to, to making cupcakes, to doing businesses, to tech, to whatever the case is. If you're starting a business, you're an entrepreneur. It's not just the shiny startup-y things uh, that happen out there. But uh, it also got me thinking about a few things out, outside of that. Um, one is launching the right way. I, I, I always uh, kind of... Yeah, it's always it's always the case with me. I always kind of sell myself short a little bit. Uh, that, that's that's exactly how I've been told <laughs> that I apparently do. And um, one thing is is I I, I think about how uh, okay so you know we've been through this kind of branding thing uh, over the last six months or so where we took like IndieWrestling.us and made that a thing over here, and we have Sidekick Media Services and made that a thing over here. And I always like kind of when I step back and say, oh, we kind of did this thing over here and we kind of launched or soft launched or did this. And, and in my head, I'm thinking, well, wow, man, there's so many things we could have done better with that launch. And I started thinking back because, you know, when you talk about I'm going to launch a website, I'm going to start this business, I'm going to uh, announce this thing. And, and I know whenever I get to it, it always feels like, uh, you know, either whether it be timing, we had something else, I always feel like something was missing from the equation. And 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 I always that comes through when I talk about it when that thing happened it should be hey we launched this new site and, and it's doing great and, and and everything like that and you should really check it out and and it was an opportunity for us to do for us to do x y and z but then i i, I look at it and and yeah okay so indie wrestling.us um it finally got to a point where i was like i gotta get this out there it's gotta ship it's gotta get out there uh for the people and 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 already you know exponentially it, it, it's been more successful because of, you know, putting that wrestling over in this pigeonhole over here and having that kind of line to say, you know, hey, guys, go check this out for your wrestling. Not this muddled thing mixed in with the, you know, the tech podcast and doing stuff for the Pittsburgh Foundation and these mental health clients and everything because it gets weird. But again, I'm, I go back to, man, we could have done just a, just a better job in, on pushing that. And, and, and really, you should be considering like, OK, it's out there. Now, how are you going to make it better? And, and, but. You know, going back to the launch part, you know, I, I think, you know, why, why, why am I not a, what am I missing versus the other people that say they launched a website? I, I'm sure the people that launch a website or start their new podcast or start their new business, um, do it, you know, and, and you say, wow, they launched it and it did awesome, right? Well, how many did those people launch and not do awesome? How many websites that those people do and it didn't go well? Or, or, or have people on the team that, that have been through this process so many times that they per perfected it. You know, when you launch a podcast, it's like, okay, we do this, then we do this, then we do this. There's other people launching podcasts that have different yields of, of success, you know, be it because of their network that they possess, be it because what other details that they maybe do that I don't do or that I do that they don't do that get one or one of us like, you know, a bigger head start out of that but it's through how many times you've done how many how many how many podcasts have i launched and now i feel pretty confident about boom we do this 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 we've launched a podcast right and it's out there and you go and you know but still launching websites i've done several of them but you know never i, I never considered myself a web designer a web builder right it's just kind of one of the tasks that i can do and usually in support of something else like a podcast an album a group or something a business you know it's a secondary thing to the product it is not the product to an extent 
it's a service I offer, but it's not the end all be all. And so I found myself trying not to be so hard on myself when I look at something like that. Uh, uh, the more I'm thinking about this, you know, I mean, the people that you look at, you know, you know, there's discussions of failure and iteration. We've had it here. We've had it on the newsletter. Uh, you know, you hear it when you start talking about entrepreneurs, like the best thing I did was fail five businesses before I got to this one. Right. Cause you learn and that happens and it's part of the process. And even if you were successful with one business, you definitely made mistakes. One of the guys today was talking about, it's like, yeah, um, I was going to try to turn around and make money from a business in five years. It took me 18 because the first three, two to three years, I was just making all the mistakes and then X happened, then X happened. You know, it, 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 it's never a perfect plan. Things happen, recessions, uh, uh, team loss, you know, whatever the case may be. Technologies change. You didn't catch up. You, 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 you juked left when you should have juked right because Twitter became a thing or whatever that technology might have been. Uh, maybe it should have been on Snapchat earlier. Whatever that could be. I'm just kind of shooting out there with some of these things. And, and, you know, you are a better expert in whatever that thing is that you're launching and that person who has it. Something to consider. Well, it goes back to that first thing I was told. Um, the very first podcast, Pittsburgh, PodCamp Pittsburgh, sorry, PodCamp Pittsburgh. When uh, I, I was sitting there and I'm looking, I was like, man, I'd like to present, but I don't know if I'm, I'm really kind of worthwhile. Because I'm looking at the Leo Laporte's of the world with the This Week in Tech. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that. But the Justin Kanaki, the, the, the infamous words that... Launched a revolution. Um, you're always an expert in something. You are always know a bit more than somebody in that audience. And some of those somebodies became our friends from Should I Drink That? Some of those somebodies became Norm Hulsman. Some people have done some amazing stuff since. And uh, so many more. And, uh, and, and, and it's getting that out there. So... Roundabout, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. We're all learning, and we all suffer from the grass is greener. Man, that guy's got to figure it out. That guy knows how to launch that thing, do that podcast, make that website, do that business. And man, I am so far behind that guy. It's maybe not all it's cracked out to be. Maybe they still have all the worries and anxieties. They're pretty much the same that you have, just on a different scale and the same, in a different level of insecurities. Think about that a little bit. Let me know what you think about this um, kind of off-the-cuff idea I've had today. Are you motivated? Are you ready for the week? Are you unburied from all that snow? Or maybe you're catching this in the summer and you're waiting for that snow to come back. Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitters whenever, wherever you find this. Subscribe to us on YouTube, on the iTunes, on the Stitcher, Breaker, iHeartRadio. Try to remember all the places. So many places we're sticking out. Oh, this is the information out there, and I hope you guys are finding it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, if you're catching this in uh, a relative time, on February 3rd, we're having a seminar here in Pittsburgh. I'm going to be talking about Squarespace because I don't like to make websites the old school way, and really, I think anybody can do this, and I want to show you some tips and tricks to get you started with that. And we're going to do a webinar there on the following Tuesday. Check out information for that over at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hit the educational series button over there when you click in, clicking on stuff, and uh, let me know if you have any questions about that or anything else going on. Sorgatron.com is the bloggy blog. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.